welcome to our lesson on rearranging the sectors formulae. So we saw in the two previous lessons that the formula for the arc length of a sector is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r and the formula for the area of a sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared. So we're going to calculate the angle theta in this question and because we have the area we're going to use the area formula. So the area is equal to theta over 360 times pi r squared. And you can see in the question that the area is given as 20 and the radius is given as 4. So I'm going to put these two values into our formula. 20 is equal to theta, which we're going to find over 360 times pi times the radius squared. To work out the value of theta, I'm going to use the balance method to make theta the subject of the formula. So I'm going to begin to simplify the right hand side. We have 20 is equal to 4 squared, which is 16, times pi times theta over 360. We can simplify the fraction 16 over 360 as 2 over 45. So we have 20 is equal to 2 pi theta over 45. I'm going to multiply both sides by 45 to cancel out the division. 20 times 45 is 900. So 900 is equal to 2 pi theta. To make theta the subject, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. So these will cancel and the 2's will cancel. So I'm left with theta is equal to 900 over 2 pi. I can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 2. So theta is equal to 450 divided by pi. And as a decimal, this is 143 degrees to the nearest degree. Okay, let's try another question. So in this question, we again have been given the area. So we're going to use the area formulae, where the area is equal to theta over 360 times pi r squared. And we've been given the area is equal to 82. And this time we've been given theta as 150 degrees, and we're being asked to work out the radius. So we can substitute these values into our formula. So 82, which is the area, is equal to theta, which is 150, over 360 times pi times the radius squared. So again, I'm going to simplify the fraction. 150 divided by 360, which simplifies to make 15 over 36, which simplifies further to make 5 twelfths. So 82 is equal to 5 pi r squared over 12. You can multiply both sides by 12 to cancel this out. And 82 times 12 is 984. So that is 5 pi r squared. We can divide both sides by 5 pi. Pi's will cancel, the phi's will cancel. So we have 984 over 5 pi is equal to the radius squared. And finally, we can square root both sides. The square and the square root will cancel. So the radius will equal the square root of 984 over 5 pi, which is 7.9 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, let's try another question. So do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, we have been given the arc length, which is two centimeters. So we're going to use the arc length formula. 
So L is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r. We know the arc length is 2 centimeters and the radius is 5 centimeters and we're going to work out the value of theta. So we'll substitute these values into our formula. 2 is equal to theta over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius of 5. We'll simplify the right hand side. So 2 is equal to 2 times 5 which is 10 pi theta over 360. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by 10 to simplify this fraction. So 2 is equal to pi theta over 36. We'll multiply both sides by 36. And these will cancel. So we have 72 is equal to pi theta. We'll divide both sides by pi and these will cancel. So theta will equal 72 divided by pi, which to the nearest degree is 23 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.